What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Lesser Athletes. My name is Chad, and today I've always an interesting video for you here on the channel. Today is my NBA hot takes for the 2024-2025 NBA season. Today we have 10 NBA hot takes. These are hot takes that maybe necessarily I don't 100% believe in, but a lot of them I at least have a little bit of faith. So let's just get started, and let's talk about the first hot take that the Los Angeles Clippers will not make the playoffs next year. Right now, the West is in this interesting thing that I don't really know entirely what teams will make out the West and what won't. Because when you really look at the West, you have the Oakland City Thunder, the Denver Nuggets, the Dallas Mavericks. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm forgetting one. I'm forgetting one. I'm forgetting probably someone huge. Why am I forgetting someone? Minnesota Timberwolves? I don't think I said them. That's five that I feel like probably make this playoffs because Grizzlies were meant to be in this playoffs but kind of got injured. Then you have the Pelicans, the Suns. The Lakers, the Kings, the Rockets, honestly, the Warriors, honestly, the Spurs. That's like most of the teams in the West. You really just have the ones I can confidently, and I mean confidently say are making the playoffs, are Jazz and Blazers. So other than that, who else makes the playoffs? Not really who else makes the playoffs, it's who else misses the playoffs. And I think the Clippers could be one of them. You, when you really look at this team, you have Kawhi, you have James Harden, you have a Dollar General Maxi and Terrence Mann, you have Zubok, and then that's really it. I mean, they have some depth. They got some depth back. But I don't really 100% believe in this team. I don't think this is a team that if Kawhi's kind of questionable right now, which he is, he doesn't know if he's going to make it to the opening night, I don't, I don't really 100% believe it. My next hot take is that Wemby will win two or more awards. Now, I'm counting some different awards. I'm counting like maybe All-Star MVP, maybe it's a skills challenge, but really the main awards I'm talking about, and I'm saying that's why I had the more part in it, but the two main awards I'm really talking about are Defensive Player of the Year and Most Improved Player. I think if there is a chance that... Wemby averages five more points. Wemby is averaging three blocks still. So Wemby is getting, you know, rebounding numbers high. His assist numbers are kind of going up. His percentages are better because God knows those were pretty damn bad at the beginning of the season. You couldn't tell me that the award voters would not be like, you know what? He has taken a step even more that we couldn't imagine. We're going to give it to him. He's going to be the all-star. He's going to maybe be a starter even. And he is somebody that we're going to put down on most improved. Then when you look at the defensive side, probably should have won it last year. I mean, you, when you really look at it, was Rudy Gobert really the best defensive player when it came to the playoffs or anything? Iffy on that. But statistically, probably when you're looking at closer percentages, he was that anchor for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He was still my vote. But if the Spurs weren't the Spurs and they weren't such a bad team, Wemby probably gets Defensive Player of the Year. And I think that's the biggest thing and biggest takeaway is why I think Wemby probably gets Defensive Player of the Year and Most Improved Player this year. My next hot take is that the Brooklyn Nets are going to have under 16 wins. Now, that might sound shocking, but when you really think about it, I don't really remember how much wins the Pistons got last season. Wasn't it like, f or no, 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 the Wizards, 14? 14? So let's just say actually under 14. I'm going to say the Nets do worse than the Wizards or Pistons last year. The reason why is because when you look at the Wizards, they had some star players. They really did have some good players. When you look at the Pistons, they had some star players. They had some young talent there. When you look at the Nets, look a little closer. I'll give you a couple seconds. Yeah, there's no one on their team. There's no one there. There's really just Cam Thomas and friends. Uh, Cam the Thomas, the train engine. Um, you have maybe Bojan, maybe Dennis Schroeder, Cameron Johnson. That's really that's really it. And Cameron Johnson is lucky he's not on this team. He was probably going to be traded, but they couldn't find a good trade for them. So other than that, who else do they have on this team that's going to be competent enough to be good? And I don't think that there is. And I think that's not a bad thing. Don't think that's a bad thing at all. I think it's just realistically... Getting, they're trying to get the worst pick. Let them get the worst pick. Here's a hot take that I've had for a little bit. And it is Brain Pazemski is going to get second or third and most improved player. Here's the thing with Brain Pazemski. When you look at him, maybe as the player right now, it's a little iffy. I don't know if you 100% believe in him. But the fact of the matter is, this is someone that can do it all. This is someone that can play defensively. Really good efficiencies. Has played very good when it comes to rebounding and passing the ball. And has shot the three pretty well at the end of the season, especially. Bram Pazemski 
It's someone that the Warriors are fully believing in. There is a reason why I say this. There's not something that I'm just feeling in my gut to say this. Klay Thompson, when he wanted to re-sign with the Warriors, was told, we're going to be honest with you, Brandon Zamsi has your spot. He is going to be our star next year. And if you're telling a vet that's been there for a while that, hey, this young kid on his second year is going to start over you, clearly they have a plan with him. And that plan was really shown recently when they said, you know what, we're going to give 8 to 12 threes to him as well. Kind of have to believe that Ray Zemski is going to at least get close to most improved player. If they're going to give him way more touches, way better players, and someone on this Warriors team has to step up if they want to win. So I'm going to have to go with Ray Zemski, second or third most improved player. My next NBA hot take is that LaMelo Ball will be if he's healthy, leading the Charlotte Hornets to the ninth seed or higher. Now, this is another shocking one because I don't think we see the Hornets and see, you know what, this is going to be a good team. But I've had this realization recently that I think the Hornets are a good team. It's just they made some trades that would look at them and you would think, okay, that's a rebuild trade. They trade for a bad contract and get some picks back. Or they're trading away maybe a decent player and getting picks back. They're tanking trades. They are tanking trades. But the fact of the matter is, is that LaMelo Ball has not really been healthy for his team. And he, when they are good and when they LaMelo Ball is healthy, they're a good team. You have now Brandon Miller, Miles Bridges, Tijon Saloon to throw in there. You have Trey Mann, who looked like he had some promising stuff with him. LaMelo Ball, Mark Williams. This is a team that can compete and I believe is a young team that could do good. Now we're just at the fact and the matter is, the fact of the matter is, is this a team that LaMelo Ball stays healthy? And the only reason why I throw that in there is because I don't really know, but if they are a healthy team, they don't really have a lot to beat out. I mean, you really just, in the East, this is really who you have to beat to be nine and higher. Ready? Nets, Wizards, Pistons, Hawks, Bulls, that's five, one more, who am I forgetting? Raptors? I didn't say Raptors. Raptors. I didn't say Raptors. Raptors. The Raptors already said they're rebuilding, so not that bad. My next NBA hot take is that we will have three or more stars traded before or at the trade deadline. Now, when I'm thinking three stars, there's three people I'm mainly thinking of. One, Brandon Miller, or not Brandon Miller, Brandon Ingram. Why did I say Brandon Miller? Oh, it's because I was just talking about the Hornets. I was like, um, Brandon Miller, Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram is going to be interesting because Brandon Ingram with this Pelicans team Makes a lot of sense to trade away. Contract situation's not working out. Hasn't worked out, you know, maybe offensively with them. Looks like they could probably go to, you know, somewhere else, get a center. And I say that because it makes a lot of sense for this Pelicans team to trade for a center. You cannot tell me Herb Jones is your starting center and you're going to be a good playoff team. I'm sorry. It's not happening. I'm going to be 100% with you. So with that in mind, got to go for a center. Then I'm thinking for the Cavaliers. Jared Allen's there. There's kind of been this thing with the Cavaliers that you could kind of build this team a little bit better. Cavaliers make a lot of sense for Jared Allen to get pushed away. Maybe that's the Pelicans trade. Then I'm thinking of players that potentially could have been traded this offseason. I'm looking at Zach Levine. I'm looking at Vucevic. I'm looking at Lori. All players that you can see traded. Trey Young even. So... I don't see a way where this one doesn't really hit, but I'm still going to say hot take because I don't think a lot of people believe in it. My next hot take that I've said a lot in videos is that I don't believe the Denver Nuggets are going to get a top four seed. I think they struggle this year and get five or lower. I still think they're a playoff team. Do not get that wrong. Denver Nuggets are a good team, but I don't believe in them in their defensive skills. Offensively, you have, you know, Jamal Murray, MPJ, Jokic, great team defensively Christian Brown is now your top defensive player you need guys to step up and for a West that's very competitive and teams are getting better and better and better and better I don't think I can just allow you to say oh we need guys to step up this year because I don't think it happens most of the time up next, my next hot take is Detroit Pistons talent finally hits. I think this is a season that we see Detroit Pistons talent finally hits. I think we're going to see the main three players. I'm going to guess it's Cade, Duran, and Asar. I don't think Ivy will be in that mix. I think Tobias Harris might take away a lot from Ivy. And I think a lot of these kind of veterans are really going to show that 
weaknesses are a huge thing that we've been seeing from the uh, uh, piston side are going to show in certain players. I think Ivy is going to be the one in particular. Even though I like Ivy and think he could be a part of another team, I think he's just not going to work with this team, with this kind of rebuilding Pistons team, whatever it might be. But I think this is the year the talent hits. And I do expect them to probably be 12 or higher. They could go into playoffs. But I don't know if I'm 100% on that. My next hot take is that the Houston Rockets will decide we choose Alperin Sangoon over Jalen Green. They had a chance to get both of them on max contracts. Said no. Said we're not going to do that. They chose really no one. And they're going to kind of decide throughout the season. I think this season we're going to see Alperin Sangoon get chosen. I think Jalen Green is a good player. But when you're taking Reed Shepard, when you're taking a Men Thompson, I don't really know if you truly believe that Jalen Green is that guy for you. I think you could easily have, you know, a Reed Shepard next to a Men Thompson, have a Sangoon still there at center position, and your team could look nice. I mean, you also have Fred Van Vliet there as well. This team would look nice with that. Truthfully, would look like a good team. Do I just 100% believe it? That they're going to choose Jalen Green? I don't think so. I think we're going to see at the beginning of the season Jalen Green's going to start maybe breaking some shots, not having good field goal. Maybe this Rockets team doesn't look as good as we probably thought. And I think maybe the Rockets look to try to trade him and try and get some new win now players, but it's going to be a little bit because I think they're looking at the Suns right now. And my last hot take is not really a hot take when you really think of every single season, but I'm going to say a random vet revives their career. We see it all the time. You got to think of like Derek White. Derek White as a vet in Spurs, okay, got traded for a pretty good trade, became really damn good for the Celtics. Then you look at Malik Monk. Looked horrible when he went to the Lakers from Charlotte Hornets. And then he goes to the Kings and revives his whole career. Most improved player and kind of six man of the year contention around there. Um, Grayson Allen, for example, led three-point percentage last year. Not a lot of people realize that. So Grayson Allen is another person that revived his career. I have some hot takes for who it could be. I think it's any player on the Nets. I think any player could do it. I think especially Schroeder probably, I would guess, Schroeder. Makes a lot of sense there. Um, who else am I thinking of? Who else am I thinking of? Harrison Barnes makes a lot of sense because with the Spurs, we'll have a chance to really rejuvenize his career. Malik Beasley with the Pistons is another one that I really do believe in. When you look at it with the Pistons, they need some three-point shooters. Just makes a lot of sense. And then my last one is Malcolm Brogdon. I think Malcolm Brogdon with the Wizards, he wanted to be a part of this Wizards team. He wants to rejuvenize his career. Rejuvenate. Rejuvenate his career. Rejuvenize? Is that even a word? Don't know. Brogdon seems like somebody that for the Wizards could really grow this talent and just grow the youth. But I think as an offensive player in the beginning, he's going to be someone that's going to be needed. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the hot takes. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.